What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So yesterday OnePlus rolled out first Oxygen OS 12 open beta 1 for OnePlus Nord. And we have seen few people requesting about the downgrade process of OnePlus Nord from Oxygen OS 12 to Oxygen OS 11. So in this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step guide on how to downgrade your device which is OnePlus Nord from Oxygen OS 12 open beta 1 to stable Oxygen OS 11. So here we have our OnePlus Nord which is currently running on Oxygen OS Open Beta 1 as you can see here. So to downgrade your device, make sure your device is sufficiently charged, keep battery level at least above 30%. And also make sure to take a backup of the entire storage or all the applications because downgrading will wipe entire data from your device. So make sure to take a backup before proceeding. And before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. And we still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel, but they do watch our videos. So if you find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. And now talking about the process, so first of all you need to download few files, those files I'll provide it in the description below. So these are the files, basically you can use either this APK or you can use OnePlus local update application. You can try out any of these, whichever works for you, you can use that. And after that we need a downgrade zip file. So here you can see this is the downgrade file for my OnePlus Nord and if you download this file on your device then the file format will be .zip.jar and guys always make sure to watch such videos without skipping because few users just watch the initial steps download the file and then we get lot many comments that this is not working or their device is not getting downgraded. So always make sure to watch the full video. So as I said, if you're downloading the file on your device, you might get the file format in .zip.jar. For this, long press on the file, tap on these three dots, tap on rename and remove .jar extension from the end. Then hit OK. Once you have saved the file, now you need to copy this file and paste it in the root directory of internal storage. So as you can see, this is the root directory and avoid placing it inside any of these folders. So I'll copy this file in the root directory of the internal storage. And once you have copied the file, then as said, you guys can use any of these APKs. So let me select this APK. Basically, I'll install both these APK files so that if we get any errors, we can use the other one. And the reason behind using these applications because on Oxygen OS 12 we don't get the option of local upgrade. So if you go to update section and here you can see we don't have an option of updating a device locally. And that's the reason we are using these APK files. So first let's try with this my application and in previous videos I have seen many users complaining that my application keeps crashing. I'll tell you the reason behind that. That's why I told you guys to make sure to watch full video. So from here, we'll select local upgrade. So soon you select local upgrade, a recent tab will be opened, but do not select the file from recent. Instead of that, navigate to internal storage of your device. And from here, navigate to the downgrade file. This way, this application won't crash. So let's select this. It will copy the installation package and later verify it. And once it is verified, it will ask you to install this package. So here you can see this is properly working with my application. I'll just cancel it for once and will also show you with the OnePlus local update application. And both the applications and the downgrade file can be found in the description below. With the local update application, you need to open the application, tap on this gear icon and select the file. So here also you can see it says the package you have selected will reset your device to factory default after installation. Are you sure you want to install it? So as said, make sure to take a backup before proceeding. Now let's tap on confirm. I've already taken the backup. If you are using any password, then do enter that. And now the update process will start. Wait for the update process to complete. Once it's done, I'll get back to you guys. This process might take around 5 to 10 minutes. Once the process is completed, before tapping on reboot, guys, make sure to take a backup of your device. Now let's tap on reboot. A device will boot into stock recovery and perform a factory reset. So as you can see, a device is performing a factory reset. And now after this, device will automatically boot into system. Okay, so our device have successfully booted and guys remember one thing first boot can take around 10 minutes. I've been waiting for my OnePlus Nord to boot up from past 10 to 12 minutes. So keep this thing in mind. Don't think that something went wrong with your device. Device usually doesn't take this much of time but Nord took a lot of time and the boot animation was also too slow. 
now i'll complete this initial setup and get back to you guys okay so now we have completed the initial setup let me show you right now which os version is our device running after downgrading so let's go to about section and here you can see right now after downgrade a device i've been downgraded to stable build of oxygen os 11 which is oxygen os 11.1.8.8 so after downgrading i do feel that device is lagging a bit if you guys also feel the same thing then just leave your device idle for few minutes and if it's still the same issue then for once boot your device into recovery and perform a factory reset so guys this was the complete step by step downgrade process from oxygen os 12 to oxygen os 11 for your oneplus nord if you still have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below this is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.